probably 10 years ago. I was working on a movie, and there was a young girl who was a production assistant. She was probably 23, 24. And we got in this argument about music, and I said, look, let me give you a test here. From 1980 or 78, 79 till now, I want you to take a sheet of paper. I want you to write down the musicians, singers, artists, songwriters, whatever, from that time until now, who will be known 100 years from now as legendary classic performers in any sense. Start naming some. And she said, Bruce Springsteen. I said, sorry, he's from our time. He started way back then in your True. area there. Uh, then she mentioned, I think, Michael Jackson. I said, once again, <laughs> when he was a kid, you know, ABC, remember that? Right. And <laughs> so that doesn't work. I said, here's who I'll give you. Whether I like them or not, I'll give you REM, I'll give you U2. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of got lost. And then she said, the police, I said, once again, back then. So she could come up with like, maybe two or three people. I said, now, when you take 1975 back to when, like, people got stoned. You know, I mean, rocked, you know. And I want, I want you to write down those people. First of all, you probably don't know them, but I do. Let me start naming them. I said, I don't have enough paper in my house to write down all of them. Right. Jerry Lee Lewis, Chuck Berry, Elvis Presley, The Beatles, Rolling Stones. I said, I can name them off just like that. I can name a hundred without having to think about it. Well, I don't know about a hundred. Yeah? You know, I mean, that's a lot. Come on. I but but I, I will say this, you know, I, I have found the iPod. You have an iPod, no? Uh, <clears throat> You're not a techno guy, are you? Not really. You don't have an iPod? I've got one. Bill, come on. I've got one. 